In this video, a very, very basic uh, shortwave radio made for frequencies uh, from, say, 1 megahertz up to 12 megahertz. And the detection is AM detection, amplitude modulated detection. It's a very basic circuit consisting of a field effect transistor in the first stage, that's here. The signal from the antenna is received here at the gate. It is amplified somewhat. You can set the amplification, the high frequency amplification, with this potentiometer. Here we take the signal out. It's led to the second stage, high frequency um, amplification. Here it is detected by the OA18. There are other germanium diodes that function uh, complete uh, in the same way. So this is only an example. And here we have the final amplification stage from the sound. So AM. You can set the potentiometers here, here, the audio level, here the high frequency level, and that's necessary to get um, a proper detection and a proper sound. This is perhaps interesting. We give the diode here, the detection diode, a small uh, positive forward voltage by means of these three resistors. And here we can set the voltage to the uh, germanium diode between approximately 0 0.1 and uh, say 3 volts or so. And that gives a better uh, AM detection. So it's a forward bias from the detection diode. I've figured all the component values out. At first it was a mess in this circuit. It didn't function, it didn't function properly. But now it works. Here you see how it was made. The first stage with the uh, field effect transistor. It received its signal on the gate here. Second stage First, that is the first high frequency amplification, uh, tunable by this potentiometer. And here the audio uh, level, also um, tunable volume control by this potentiometer from 1K. And here is the audio amplifier, finally. Switch it on now. And I have to say that, of course, this is a, a not a super heterodyne radio, so it is not very selective. Here is the shortwave coil that I published in the video from a few hours ago. It was covered with glue on a toilet roll, etc., etc. Eleven windings here, and with this tuning capacitor from. Uh, 500 picofarad or 200 picofarad, I don't know that exactly, I can tune in to radio stations. But it's very important to tell that you need a very loosely, loosely coupling to the antenna. This is the antenna, the red wire. It goes to outside approximately 10 meters out of my room. And in that case, I need, in this case, I need a 2.2 picofarad coupling capacitor to the first stage, the field effect transistor. And in other circuits, I need perhaps, um, or often, 18 picofarad when I have an antenna here from, say, 4 meters or so. So that's very important. The antenna must be coupled loosely to the radio circuit, because 
otherwise you don't receive anything at all. And the gate from this transistor here is sensitive to static charges. Uh, the antenna wire outside uh, takes static charges and that's why I've here made here a dashed line. When you switch the radio off, also switch this uh, switch uh, to a connect connected position here to shortcut the very sensitive gate to ground. Okay, we're gonna listen now to the radio. Put it on. And I tune in somewhat. And I have to say that it is necessary uh, when you listen to radio stations. Often much more radio stations are available when it's dark, so not during daylight. It has to do all with the propagation conditions on shortwave. They differ very, very much. And when you want to know more, uh, get in contact with radio amateurs that can tell you a lot more about these propagation conditions. We'll listen now to strong radio station shortwave. This is the reception coil. Here you can tune in the uh, voltage to the detector. So let's tune further. So, joining the Eurozone will allow for the adoption of a national strategy for switching to the Euro and of a rigorous timetable for the economic, monetary, legislative and institutional measures likely to avoid. This radio has all the flaws from a classical radio, so that means that we uh, have the problem of fading. That's what you've heard now uh, during the minutes that are passed. Uh, the signal fades away slowly, goes up uh, again, etc, etc. But, of course, radio is fun and with this radio you can have a, a lot of fun and receive perhaps four or five strong radio stations on shortwave. So that's the reason why I published this circuit. I think it's a good start to get a, a, an indication about uh, what you can receive on shortwave and uh, make a, an elementary radio yourself.